What's going on everybody? Cigar Show Tim here of Tobacco Talk Media. I have got the newest 350 count 48 liter third generation humidor from Need One. Let's unbox it, go through it together, see its features, see how it has improved and changed from previous generations, and see if this helps you realize that you need one. All right, let's go through, let's unbox this and see what it has to offer. I'm probably gonna skip through part of the unboxing because, well, you don't need to see every step. So here we go. All right, so here it is in all of its glory. Let's just take a very cursory look at it and see what we notice that's different in the third generation compared to previous generations. So right off the bat, there's a big difference here. Previously, there was just one display that had numbers on it and it was for the temperature that the hum uh, humidor was set at or that it was actually reading at currently, excuse me. Now there are two different readouts. So this one here actually uh, will show the temperature, whether it's Celsius or Fahrenheit. And then the one over here is going to show the relative humidity inside the unit. One of the biggest differences in this third generation is a reservoir for you to put your distilled water in so that it can maintain and manage all on its own the relative humidity inside this unit. So let's open it up and continue looking and seeing what it has. All right, I switched sides because it makes it way easier for the way the door opens. So let's jump into this and see what this has to offer in the third generation that sets it apart from previous generations. As we open it up here, we can see that we have got a little window foam protection. Take the tape off of that. And then as we get into here, we can see that we have this tray here. Inside the tray is the user manual. There you go. So we've got this tray here, and then we have inside it a couple of dividers. You might be thinking, why are they separated out? And it is because they are meant to go a certain way, and they go in the grooves there. One-handed makes it really easy. There we go. And then this fits over the groove on top of it like that, and it will slide down and into it. So you can actually divide this into four different sections, should you choose to, and separate out your cigars that way. So there is the tray there, and then there's this shelf. Shelf is very much like the one that comes in the uh, first generation that uh, offered a 48 liter unit. It does have a little bit of a lip right here, as you can see, so that cigars don't just go rolling right off. And then there's this lip in the back as well. I'll set that up here. Now going into the unit in here, you're gonna notice a couple different things. So you're gonna notice that there's this main fan that's right here. And that's what circulates the air and the humidity inside when the cooling function is on. That is what is maintaining the airflow within the unit. But then down here, you'll see that this box is different than the previous 48 liter unit. This box here is the fan and the humidity management system. So if we take this here out and open it up, need to find my knife. So if we open this up, what you will see in here is a tray with some different like fiber, almost like strings in it right there. And so that is meant to hold on to the moisture inside the unit, hold on to the water. Again, distilled water only. Do not use regular tap water ever, ever, ever in a humidor. So. That is that right there. All right, and last but not least, we do have the tray here and it slides right in there. And if you were to look inside this unit underneath this shelf where the fan is to circulate the humidity, you'd actually see a little bit of a hose, <clears throat> which is a little bit of a downspout that goes into where the reservoir is. It's not intended to pull out from there, but it's actually in case there's too much humidity buildup, it'll actually do sort of like a condensation drain back into it. So you don't have humidity or distilled water pull up anywhere inside this unit. Fantastic idea, great that they did that. All right, so that's what it looks like completely on the inside. Now let's go ahead and get this put back together. Let me plug it in. Let's see what the functionality is of the unit and go from there. Okay, so I just plugged in the unit and you can see that we've got some lights here on the display. Let me go through and see, show you what they say and explain what that reading represents. So here we have the number 75. You may not be able to see it super clearly, but number 75 and the number 47. 
There it now says 74. That represents the temperature inside the unit. And the other number on the right, the 47, represents the relative humidity reading inside this unit. Uh, so now it's going down to 46 because it's on, it's blowing around, and it realizes there is no humidification or humidity inside the unit. So if I were to come here and hit the settings, it would then have the left number or the temperature zone flash. So as I stated, 72 is the highest temperature you can set it at and all the way down to 60. Oh, you can actually set it below. Excuse me, 59 degrees is what it, you can set it at. I keep all of my humidors set at 64 degrees Fahrenheit. That's just where I like it. That's where I tend to have the best um, enjoyment, experience, uh, all of that burning of the cigars. Everything seems to go really well for me here in Southern California with my temperature range and all of that. Keeping it at 64 degrees for the uh, thermoelectric humidors seems to work very, very well. The next number obviously is the uh, humidification level. So if you hit the settings and then hit it one more time, it will take you to that number. It comes default set at 70% relative humidity. I'm actually gonna set mine at 65%. Um, actually, I'll go up to 66. I tend to keep my humidors anywhere between 65 and 67% relative humidity. Again, from burn to smoking experience to all of that, that seems to be the best placement, if you will, or the, the best uh, relative humidity rating for what I enjoy. So once you've hit the numbers and let them sit there for a second, it will then blink and it'll then lock it in and so you're good to go. So it's reading at 73 degrees internal temperature right now and now at 45% relative humidity. But here's the one thing that I could not wait to see how it was on this unit. The third generation for need one has finally done something that has not happened on any of the other previous generations or 95% of the other thermoelectric humidor models out on the market. Look how evenly lit up that is. That is very, very well lit. When you open the door here, you can see how that is accomplished. Right there in the door are two LED bars. In addition to that, down under here, there's a light. Let's see if I can tip it up and you can see. Let's see if I can tip it up. And right there underneath in the middle, you can see that bluish light. So you've got the LED bar that is on this side here, as well as on this side, and that is what lights up the humidor. Fantastic, fantastic upgrade for this generation. Need one, thank you for listening to input for myself and many others that enjoy your products and making this part of the upgrade for the next generation of your product lines. So let's go through some of the instructions on setup, all those different things and see what goes into it, what they are recommending, and I will set mine up accordingly. So when you have your manual, you can go through and it's gonna give you the danger, here's what it entails, here's all this, here's the setup instructions, here's all that. The part that you're gonna wanna pay attention to is obviously the setup instructions. Don't put it in direct sunlight. Um, don't put it outdoors, all those different things. Uh, it then also, gives you a description of the keys and what they do and the buttons and all of those different functions of this unit. Uh, the dual function, that is uh, the heating and cooling functions maintain a stable temperature uh, and humidity between a level of 15 and 22 degrees Celsius or 59 and 72 as we saw just a second ago and 60 to 75% relative humidity respectively. And there is about a 3% variance, give or take up or down. Uh, according to some of the literature that I have on this unit. So just understand that if you're setting it at 72 and you're going, okay, it seems like they're a little bit more humid than 60 or 72% relative humidity, you're probably off maybe a percentage or two. Go ahead and drop it down, you'll be fine. So it does have all that information. Uh, before first use, what to do, connecting the power, ventilation, adding water. So I'm gonna read this part because that is new for this third generation unit of the Need One line of products. It says, when you receive the cigar cabinet, please remove the pearl wood that wraps the water box, which you saw me whoop, cut out and take out right there. And then it also has the pearl wood that is inside there, um, uh, or excuse me, uh, that wraps the water box, that's that, the pearl wood. Uh, Add an appropriate amount of pure water to the water box. It says, do not block the top of the water box and do not exceed the highest level or highest scale, it says. So when adding the water, basically just don't fill it up too much. 
plain and simple, just don't go above. And the nice thing about this unit is when you look at it, is if you look right down here, you can see where my finger is, there is a, a window, almost like on a lighter where you can see how much lighter fluid is in it. This will show you how much distilled water you have inside your tray. So let me show you this way. So this right here. And it does have on there a max line and a minimum line. So fill it up with distilled water, at least to the minimum line. Recommend it up to the max just so you know that it's ready to go and good to go with all of that. So let me add distilled water and we'll keep going. All right, so I've got my distilled water in this water bottle here that I keep so that I don't spill it and so I don't have a massive one gallon jug just sitting around here. So I am going to take this and fill it up and it's probably gonna take all of it. Yep. So, empty that. We'll set that down right back here. And then I'm gonna take this and place it into the unit down on the bottom where it belongs and gently slide it back in. All right, let me take this out so that we can see that when it is slid in, it is all the way back right up against there and it is in its place where it belongs so that now it will start to spread around the humidity within the unit. So I'm going to put this shelf back in. There we go. And close the door. And then let's see if this starts going up as we're going through the rest of this information. So put in the distilled water. Uh, the cigar, cab cigar cabinet, excuse me, should be placed horizontally and smooth to avoid water overflow into the box uh, due to any tilt. Uh, you are advised to replace the humidifier cotton in the water box every one to two months. So it's just that little cotton, that sort of accordion foam cotton that I showed you at the beginning that is in there. And then it goes into cleaning steps, um, cigar storage guidance, different things like that. Notes moving on cigar cabinets. Obviously, anytime you move a thermoelectric humidor, if there are cigars or anything in it, you're gonna to wanna to be very careful, especially since this one has the water tray in there. I would highly, highly advise that you remove that water tray and then move this wherever it needs to go and go from there. So let's continue going through a few more points on this thermoelectric humidor. Um, I did mention a minute ago that it heats and cools. Huge bonus. Here in Southern California, it really doesn't get too crazy cold, especially in my studio here. Um, I can temperature control it, so that's not as big of a deal. It does get cooler here because I don't have a heater in it, um, but it doesn't stay too badly um, out of whack in terms of temperature range where I want it to be anyways. So we've got all of this set up. I've got the lights on. Again, I am just loving the fact that it is so well lit up inside. And if you wanna change, I didn't mention this, if you wanna change from Fahrenheit to Celsius, all you have to do is hold this and now it has changed, it says 20 degrees Celsius. Now you know it has changed. If you wanna change it back to Fahrenheit, go ahead and hold that again, and there you go. So there it's reading that. It's at 68 degrees currently, 45% uh, relative humidity. I'm sure that's gonna start climbing up, but we'll see how that goes. Um, but let's go through a little bit more information on this unit. All right, so when thinking through what thermoelectric humidor you want to select for yourself in your cigar collection, a lot of times size is a factor. So let me talk about the dimensions of this one here. It is a 350 or rated at 350 cigar capacity humidor, uh, 48L or 48 liters. That is the internal area and space inside this unit. Um, but it does have um, its dimensions here that I've got on some uh, literature for you. So let me go ahead and read that for you. Uh, the unit is 19.96, just call it 20 inches, 20 inches tall by 17 inches wide and 19 inches deep. Um, that's the size of this unit here. It is a good size to still have on, if you have uh, a countertop in a cigar lounge, in your man cave, whatever it is. Uh, but it's also a good enough size where if you need to put it on the floor in wherever you're enjoying your cigars, um, that it's not gonna be so small that it's, you know, you have to reach way far down and everything like that. It is a good size for that. Um, I actually have other thermoelectric humidors from Need One uh, that I will probably set on top of this um, and use it as a shelf because I will probably be able to get two of their other units on top of here and make a nice even uh, stack of the thermoelectric humidors, which is fantastic. So um, that is the dimensions of it. Those are the dimensions of this unit. Now, one of the things that I love about the Need One units is they are um, double 
paned glass uh, and they're tempered glass. And so it's durable, uh, it is double paned, they're thick uh, glass doors, which is good because it's that dual layer. So you're gonna get that, that um, gap of air in between, which is gonna prevent any leakage of humidity or other things like that, or air coming in, different things of that nature. So the thicker double paned glass doors is absolutely a huge benefit for this unit. Okay, so this is the 48 liter unit. Is it offered in the third generation and any other sizes? Yes, it is. They do have a 16 liter offering and then they have a 23 liter offering. And so that's roughly about a hundred cigar capacity to about 150-ish cigar capacity to then this one, the 48 liter, which is a rated at 350 cigar capacity. Uh, and those are the only sizes available right now for this third generation. So if you're interested in previous generations, uh, shop all over Amazon, type in need one, you'll find them everywhere. Need One has only been around since 2021, and in the last three-ish years that they've been around, they have garnered on Amazon specifically 80% of the thermoelectric humidor market. Think about that and how quickly they have grown. I have multiple Need One units. I absolutely love them. They're reliable, they're rock solid. Um, I'll be honest, when people ask me what brand I should or I, would I recommend, um, Need One is a name that comes out of my mouth um, pretty much every single time. And yes, there are other brands that I have checked out and tried as well. But Need One is a brand that has been so dependable and so reliable for managing the um, health of my cigars uh, and taking care of them that I absolutely love their products and what they put out. One of the reasons I enjoy them so much is because they look into the latest technologies. What capabilities can they put into a thermoelectric humidor? The LED light bars, the built-in water tray and humidity management system, all those different things. In fact, if you look here, it's at 66 degrees Fahrenheit and it's at 50% relative humidity now. My guess is it would probably take just a maybe 24 hours, maybe 36 hours to get to the humidity level that you want it to be at. And I would leave it there for a couple days. And I say it for a reason, because if you get it there and you go, okay, I'm gonna throw all my cigars in there and your cigars unfortunately aren't properly maintained or at the right humidity level, um, there's gonna be a longer adjustment period. Not only is it looking to read the humidity within the unit, but you also need to make sure that the drawers and the, or the drawer on the shelf that are in here, the tray and the shelf that are in here, have enough time to slowly soak up the humidity and the moisture that is inside the unit as well. Don't, don't, don't wipe down the wooden tray and the shelf. Absolutely one of the worst things you could do for a humidor is to wipe down the Spanish cedar tray or lining that is in there, it causes the wood to expand so quickly that actually you can damage the fibers of the wood. It actually makes it more porous, makes it more susceptible holding on to moisture, which can create mold, which can create a whole lot of problems with your cigar collection. So I never, never, never advise, um, I do not recommend at all wiping down with a wet sponge or a wet paper towel with distilled water. Um, don't ever wipe down the wood inside your unit. If you're in the market for a thermoelectric humidor and you're Getting more into the intermediate cigar collection part of your cigar journey, I would highly recommend you check out this 48 liter Need One uh, third generation thermoelectric humidor. Uh, it does, like I've said a couple times, it has a, a rated capacity of 350 cigars. And so far, I am absolutely loving it. So there you have it. That is everything you need to know about the Need One 48 liter 350 capacity thermoelectric humidor. There's gonna be a link and some information down below to go and check out. I would highly, highly recommend you check out Need One if you have any needs for upgrading your storage for your cigar collection. I have never had any Need One unit go bad on me, cause any problems, nothing whatsoever. And I do get comments and questions pretty often about them. What do you set them at? What temperature, what humidity, all those different things. Um, is there a collection of you know water buildup in the back of your humidor? All those different questions. I love getting them. Please keep sending them my way. Uh, but I'm excited to get this fully integrated and dialed in. And I don't expect that it's gonna take long for that to happen and get it loaded up. So stay tuned on my social media, on my Instagram, uh, because I will have a picture of this fully stocked up, loaded up and rocking and rolling after it has been seasoned. But I am gonna give it the time it needs to do that. And I would ask that you do the same when you get yours. Okay, it is actually the next day since I just did all of the 
overview and seasoning of the humidor and I wanted to show you where things stand and I'm going to load it up and let her rock and roll from there. So it is currently reading at 64 degrees Fahrenheit. If you look here, I had it set at 66, so it did go down a couple degrees cooler. Um, but if you remember from the information in the literature I went through, give or take a couple degrees up or down, as well as a couple relative uh, humidity percentage points as well. So it's doing well, just fine there. And then I did set the unit at 66% relative humidity, and it is staying rock solid there at 66. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and let's see how inside here the tray with water so it started at the full line and it's now just a little bit above the max or sorry the max line it started at the max line it's just a little bit below that now with the distilled water so doing well with that i can definitely tell the temperature difference inside and all of that so i'm going to go ahead and get this loaded up give you an example of how to arrange cigars in here and we will go from there Okay, so let me show you where I'm at so far with this. Let me open this back up and the temperature has dropped down to 64 and the humidity is down to 58 because I've had this open while I've been loading it up. So hence the difference. So let's go ahead and open this here. And as you can see, that'll stay there. Uh, I have one, two, three, four boxes of differing sizes, everything from the Drew Estate Liga Provada 10, uh, the limited edition one, the Seccion de Mercado, to Sober Mesa Blues, to a limited edition for a little guy cigar shop, Cuevas to Big Sky Cigars, um, their uh, Blackfoot that they have. And so varying different sizes and I can fit all of them in here, no problem, with still room to go. Uh, and then on the side here, I've just got some different cigars, some uh, SP10s, Sans Patel, Espinosa E-Bundle, Connecticut's. Uh, but up here, let me show you this. So right up here, when you use the dividers, it does limit your capacity in the humidor. Plain and simple, that's just how it is, because as you can see, if you have a Toro that is uh, a regular Parejo and it doesn't have a torpedo cap or anything like that on it, then like this one right here, a new black Starline Maroon, this one here, it'll slide in there, no problem. But as soon as you get to a, like this Ferio Tego, Suma right there as soon as you get to a torpedo cap it does not fit it is just barely too tall and has to go at an angle so what I'm going to actually do is because there's probably only uh, maybe 25 cigars in here right now I'm going to actually operate mine without these dividers in and then I'm going to be able to maximize the capacity of this quite a bit more are the dividers good absolutely they're a fantastic option for you if you want to keep them separate maybe you've got you know, you like to separate out by blind Maduro's, Habano's, Connecticut's, you know, and whatever else there is. Um, but for me, with what I uh, have in my humidor and everything, I have no problem with them all being together. Obviously, I do have my, uh, I have some Cubans that are in a desktop humidor that's right behind me. You can see the wood right there. But, um, but I would recommend uh, taking them out. At least that's what I'm going to personally do, because then... Um, you can have the different Vitolas and different sizes all in there together and maximize the space of it. So I'm going to go ahead and do some rearranging and I'll show you what that's like then. All right, so all I've done is taken what was already in here in those four different quadrants, if you will, and I've placed them just up at the top portion of the tray here. And you can see that it actually gives a lot more room to put more cigars down here. I'm going to hold those. You can see that whole space at the bottom half or so, bottom... 40% is still available. So what I can do is I can then turn cigars and go this way and then fill up the bottom portion of this uh, drawer. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do and maximize the space. Okay, so I went in and I adjusted the cigars as they were in here previously. And let me pull out this drawer and show you what I've done. I have maximized the space and easily, easily quadrupled what was already in here. Um, well, I'd say three times. Three times it over because of laying them out uh, in a manner that makes it much easier to maximize the space in here. Uh, like I said, I before probably had maybe 25-ish, 20, 25 cigars in here. I'd say I'd easily, um, I've easily got probably close to 60 or 70 in here now. Um, and it is holding them well. And I do like that it has the slots on the back as well as underneath on the bottom, as you guys have seen for air circulation and airflow and all of that goodness. And then in here on this drawer, what I've done is, and I'll slide it out gently, is I have put in 
bags and just different loose cigars that I have to show you as an example of how you can arrange this and load it up and get it all set up for your cigar collection. And then just as a brief example, I put one bag down here. I did not block the vent that is right down here, which is um, for air circulation. So don't block that vent, uh, but I have done that. Um, just to show you down here that you can put a few loose cigars if you need to. Um, I have those in a bag just to be safe, but um, do with it as you wish. So a couple of pros and cons on this unit. Um, number one pro, absolute number one pro is the lighting on it. I have been very picky with a number of thermoelectric humidors, uh, and you can go back and look at my channel. Uh, and this Need One Third Generation absolutely knocked it out of the park with having the light bars, the LED light strips on the door so that you can see all the way into the shelves. You can see even with it loaded before previous generations, the light from the top would just basically end and be cut off after the uh, drawer was in and it was loaded up. So much, much improved on that aspect of it. Another pro is the humidity control. Absolutely love the humidity control uh, and everything with this unit. You cannot go wrong um, when you have a unit that is managing itself from temperature to humidity and everything in between. Um, it is just doing very well. I did not expect it to be at the humidity point that I set it at. Uh, honestly, in less than 24 hours, it's been about 16 hours uh, since I did the initial unboxing and everything and it has done very well got up today and saw this and um yeah can't really have anything to complain about with that uh, a couple of cons on this um really it's it's a matter of when it comes to the capacity of it um it is not a negative because the um the um win on it is having the humidity control uh, but compared to other um, you know, 48 liters that they have released in the past, uh, it does reduce the capacity because you have the shelf and everything back there. And yes, there's the vent fan and you wanna make sure that stays clear for humidity to distribute throughout the unit and for airflow and different things like that. Um, it's really the only con that I can think of because it does take away storage capacity and abilities uh, for you to put more cigars in it. But if you look, you'll notice that there is, let me open this up real quick. You'll notice that there is still room, if I can shove this here, there is room here. If I wanted to move this shelf up to here, I could put it up here. So if you were curious or interested and you don't have boxes and you have a lot of loose cigars or bundled cigars, you actually can probably go on and buy an additional tray uh, or a shelf and put that in there and now have the flexibility of having an additional flat surface for you to load your cigars up in so you don't have to stack them up so high and different things like that. But overall, this is a fantastic unit. Um, like I uh, do whenever I review these, I'll put the link down below to this unit on Amazon. Need One is absolutely a phenomenal brand. Need One, I wanna thank you for sending this out my way uh, and allowing me to go through it, review it and put it through its paces. It is performing very, very well so far and much like the other units that I have, from need one, I expect it to do the exact same because I have no reason to doubt that it's going to either meet up or exceed how the performance of the previous generations and models that I currently own have performed. So there you go. Information is down below. If you have a need one unit, please put some comments and let me know if you enjoy it. What size do you have? Do you have the uh, 16 liter? Do you have the 23? Do you have the uh, I believe it's a 24, or not 20, uh, they have 23, then they have a, a, I think it's a 32, and then this 48 or 36 and a 48. They have multiple different sizes and capacities that will suit your cigar uh, journey needs. In the new third generation, as I mentioned earlier though, they do only have it in the three available sizes of the 16, the 23, and the 48. Um, I don't know if they're coming out with more um, choices uh, in the future. I'm not sure of that, but it probably depends on the demand for those sizes. So that's going to do it for this review of the Need One 48 liter 350 cigar capacity thermoelectric humidor that heats and cools and manages your humidity for you. Fantastic unit. So as I say at the end of all of my videos, enjoy your cigar journey, everybody. I'm Cigar Show Tim. As always, I'll see you.